We now come to the time for the children's message. And if you have children or youth nearby who are not already watching this video worship service, why don't you call them over? I think they'll enjoy seeing what I have to share today. And you can also watch it as well. So our, in our scripture today that uh, we'll be hearing about from Pastor Julia in the regular sermon, we're going to be looking at a story or a parable that Jesus told. And we call this the parable of the sower. A sower is simply another word for a farmer. And we, we uh, use that term sometimes in the Bible because when a farmer planted his crops, of course, back in Bible days, they didn't have tractors and modern machinery. They had to do everything by hand, including planting the seeds, which was uh, generally done by simply scattering them. For example, now let's just, I'm going to get corny here for a minute. <clears throat> let's just say that I wanted to grow some corn in my garden. Well, back in, in Bible days, I would do that. I've got a handful of uh, corn seeds here. I would do that just by, by simply scattering them um, and just hope that some of it fell on good soil. And in the story that, uh, that Jesus told, some of the seeds fell on a path where they couldn't really take root and the birds came and ate them. Some of the seeds fell on the rocks where they couldn't put down roots and so they, they withered. And some of the seeds fell amongst the thorns and weeds and they grew up and just choked out the, the life of the corn. But some of the seeds fell on good soil, it took root, it grew, and produced the fruit that they were looking for. Uh, in our case here, it would be corn, and back in Bible days, maybe barley or something like that. Now, this is the lesson that Jesus wanted His disciples to learn. And He explains it. He says, the seed that the sower was planting, that the farmer was planting, in this story, it represents God's Word. And our hearts represent the soil where the sower planted the seeds. Now, sometimes your Sunday school teacher or your pastor is trying to plant the teaching of God's love in, in your heart. But if our hearts are hard and filled with anger and bitterness, then that teaching falls on hard ground and it never grows, just like in the story that Jesus told. And there are other times when we hear the word and we get excited about it, but then our excitement fades because our understanding is too shallow. And that's like when the seed falls on, falls on the, the rocky soil. Sometimes we hear the word, we believe what it says, but we want to keep doing the same things that we've been doing. Mm. And that's like planting the seed in with a bunch of weeds and thorns. Uh, and I'm sure you can guess what happens. The weeds will soon take over. The last seed, though, is the best because it fell on the good ground. And if you learn from what you hear in Sunday school and church, the seed that Jesus plants in your heart will grow. And your life will produce the good fruit just like Jesus intended. You'll be helping others to grow in their knowledge and understanding of God's love. Let's pray together. Lord God, help us to be like the good soil in our lesson today. Help us to listen to your word and grow up to be the kind of boy, boys and girls that you want us to be. Bless all those children and youth who are watching this video and all those in our church and community and their families. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 